good. How can I help you? Um, well, I have, um, well, a whole bunch of things. <laughs> well, he raised um, about knowing where his money is going now and um, being put back on track or on track um, by you um, and your team. And that Wealth Builders is really, really what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was really interested in that because I have been a real estate agent now for 10 years. This is my 10th year. And I've gotten into some um, tax trouble as a consequence of not handling my um, money and my business the way that I need to effectively um, to stay out of IRS trouble. Um, and currently, I have a um, IRS, um, my taxes were audited for three years. I used to be a full-time PG County teacher. Uh -huh. and, um, what year, what audited, years were audited? Um, 2007, 8, and 9, I think. Okay. And um, so I've gone to different people. Uh, I used to have the same broker he had, Greg Bennett, and I went to his um, tax person, and she helped me open up an S-Corp, and she was going to help me deal with the audit never happened. And then I went back to my um, original person. She didn't want to help me. It didn't happen. Went to a different person. And I've still been trying to get help with this audit. And I've, I've, I've called some of those numbers that you hear people saying, if you have, you know, if you're having any issues, call them. And I haven't gotten anywhere with this tax audit. And I know it's just growing because of the, the fines and fees or whatever I'm not getting it done. I have filed my taxes um, every year since then. Um, and I and my most recent being 2014, but um, my business is basically uh, from a money standpoint all jacked up, and I need I need repair, I need help um, organizing it appropriately and making sure that I am paying my taxes on you know in, in the way that I should. And somebody and I need somebody who is who is in real estate who understands what we do and how we how this how the money is handled and what what I can actually write off. And to date, I haven't really found anybody that can do that. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, I don't. I I don't think I need to sell myself because I think that Marquise has already done that. He did a he did an excellent job. I need to thank him for that. Um, so maybe what we need to discuss is there's two ways that you could work with us. Okay. The first way is signing up for the same plan that um, Marquise has. That plan is twenty nine ninety five, but I have a stand-in agreement with Greg um, that his um, his um, agents will get it at nineteen ninety five. So you get like a thousand dollar discount because you're part of Greg's team. And we go ahead. And then we will also throw in maybe reviewing the audits from 07 to 09 to see, you know, figuring out like what happened. And, you know, also I'll need to look at 10 through, have you filed 14 already? Yes. Okay. So then also review, basically reviewing your taxes from 7 to 14 and then come up with strategies on how we need to work together, you know, going forward. There's several things that need to happen with, like we do year-end tax planning, which is something you'll need as a realtor, you know, where you're used to probably filing your taxes come April 15th. For most of my clients, they're sending me their information November, December, so that we can okay. kind of see what is going on and come up with strategies to save on taxes before the year runs out. So that's something okay. that you really want to, you know, get on board with. So with a lot of my clients, once we do that, there's not that pressure to meet the April 15 deadline because you already know in December what's potentially coming down the pike. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, one, of the, one of the things that I have been told before, and I guess this is what something we can talk about, is they the, all the people that I have talked to about this said that they would – um, try to help me do an offering compromise on the amount that is actually owed, which is a mm -hmm. very large amount. Um, it, it, it started off as like $114,000 before, before any of I have no idea what it is now. 
um, with the families or whatever, but that's what it started off as. And I was a teacher, so it's like no way possible that I could pay that. But um, it was they denied all of my um, all the all of the things that I was trying to write off is what is what happened. And the person who did my taxes wasn't really an accountant. The person who did it, she worked for the IRS, but she wasn't an accountant. So um, and didn't know anything about real estate. So. Um, so I don't know what to do or where to go from this point. I know that I don't want to end up behind bars because I haven't done what I needed to do. And mm-hmm. in fact, one of my college friends' mother, she was self-employed um, as a nurse, and she was a hospital administrator and had a business for many, many, many years. Very successful, made over three to five hundred thousand dollars a year. And she is seventy years old and just got actually prosecuted for the same, very same thing. Um, and she didn't go to jail, but she was on house arrest for two years. So I don't want to be her <laughs> uh, by avoiding this issue. I want to get this over with and done. And going forward, I want to make sure that everything is, is right. And I know where my money is going. And I know my, my spending and I'm saving and I'm doing everything. I want to build wealth. I, I want to leave a legacy for my 12-year-old kid. My dad was an um, entrepreneur, probably a billionaire most of his life. And he died at age 56 and had nothing left. And I definitely don't want to be that person. So I'm trying to do whatever I need to do um, with the guidance of you and Marquis <laughs> to get there. Okay, yeah, definitely. That's something that we can assist with. Um, in terms of the offer and compromise, until we review what you have, I would not be able to tell you. But 90% of if most people have told you that it's an OIC, it's probably okay. going to be an OIC route. The other option is to do something called a deferment, where it's put in a deferment status based on the income you're earning right now. They may agree to a very low payment for a couple of years and then look at it later. That gives you time, you know, to really figure out. Then we need to go back and look at what kind of expenses were disallowed. Why were they disallowed? Did you have any kind of backup? Is it something that we should do? Is it better of doing an OIC versus an, an audit reconsideration? You know, all those things okay. we'll look at and then come up with the best way um, forward. Okay. So what do we need to do from this point? Well, I can send you the registration form for the Wealth Building Program. Take a look at it. Um, we have more information on our website. Once you review it, send us the registration form, then we will um, request documents that you need to send us to do the review and then we schedule an initial meeting um to decide okay these are the things that we need to work on going forward okay sounds good i'm just writing my notes here so we will try to get that information to you um by tomorrow morning so you can take a look at it you know Make a decision, fill out the form, send it back. We'll get you a list of items that you need to bring us, and then we'll get to work. Okay. All right. Thank you. You too. Have a great day. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.